All right, welcome back to LearnWire. We're gonna be doing some testing, see if we can create some unique content and some better content to outrank uh, what is currently ranking on the search engine. And we're going to jump in. So I'm actually doing some testing. I actually haven't done an article like this and published it. So it's fun to learn and test together, right? So we know that when we grab some of these keywords right over here, this one came from Questify. Uh, I'll leave a link below, you can go pick it up. But this gives you all these people also ask. It's probably one of the best features of the tool. If you wanna get people also ask and you want a good price, most of the people also ask tools cost a $29 a month. Questify, you can get it for $12 a month. So there'll be a link below. They just launched yesterday. Okay, so we're gonna go with what are the four main issues with uh, container gardening. <clears throat> and what I'll do is we'll come over here and we will go and search this keyword right over here on Google. We will put that in and we'll see what's ranking. This first site right here that's ranking, it you know has literally like 200 words, has no H2 tags, anything like that. So it's not going, going to help us with our research, but we'll come through here and we'll grab a couple of these ones right over here and we'll go and look at them. I skip medium as well. That's Parasite SEO right there. And then we'll go over here. This is probably the best article that answers the question and we have so what we'll do is we'll grab that url and we'll just copy the link and then we'll come over here and i'm going to paste that url right here and then we're going to go and paste another url and over here let's see right over here we'll grab that other one that's um, actually ranking this one but i think that it's common right over here it's actually not as big of an article if we go over here and we check the word count right over here it's only 600 words they only have a couple headings. They do have a table and then that's it. So it's just really not the best content in the world. Let's see if we can find one more article. The pros and cons of gardening. That one's not good, but maybe this container gardening one right over here. We'll look at that. And this one might be a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and just see how many words that has. And it's a 2000 word article, so that's a good one. So let's go and grab this one right over here. It is container gardening mistakes. That's what we're trying to answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that one in right there. So then next, what we're going to do is use a code that can pull the H2s and H3s and H4s from a uh, website inside of a Google spreadsheet right over here on, inside of a Google Sheet doc, right? <clears throat> so I'm over here. The original one is uh, right over here. You can see it and it will import the H5s as well. But I mean, I don't know who uses H5s. I don't. I rarely even use an H4. It's really all about the H1, 2, and 3. So I'm actually going to trim off the 5 and just use anywhere from the uh, 4. And if you don't know anything about this, it's just going to use the internet and go and actually pull this. Really cool. Something that I just learned. But we're going to grab this one right over here. I'm actually going to grab this code. And then what we'll do is we'll copy this. And if you have to pause the video or rewatch this again, go for it. But we're going to paste this in right here. And then I'm going to go up here. I'm going to copy this website. And I'm going to push down. And then we have our code right here. Now we need to replace this code right here, like just like that. Control V. Now we have the URL in there. And now I'm going to push enter. And now it's gonna go out and grab all of this information for us right here, really cool. It's similar to using SEO Minion <clears throat> and you can use Harpa. There's diff there's tools out there that you can do that might be faster. I'm just showing you a new a way and a different technique that you know I've never seen before that you can also use to do this. And I think that this could be a kind of a cool workflow as well um, because you're gonna see I, I just created a prompt and so forth. So we're gonna keep cruising. Let's go do this for the next site. So then what we'll do is we'll just go grab our code right over here. We'll copy our code, we'll come back over here, and we'll paste our code in right underneath that um, website. We'll push the up button, we'll do a control C copy, then we'll go back down and we will paste this in right over here. And then we'll push enter and it's gonna go and find any of that right there, cool. So the next, you'll notice if I hover over one of these and I push delete, nothing happens on the keyboard, right? You can't re remove these because they're like hard coded into the Google Sheet to this sheet right here. So what I am going to do is just grab this whole thing and I'll just copy it. And then we'll go over here to pasted outlines. I'll right click and I'll paste values. So then now we can get rid of stuff, you know, push the delete button and so forth, okay? So we have our title. This right here is a title. This would be the title over here. These are the biggest container garden mistakes to avoid. That's a massive, and that's ranking on Google. That's crazy. Let me see over here. I wanna go back over here. 
And I want to see, is that actually what was ranking on Google? That is the longest title. Container gardening mistakes, nine common errors to avoid. And it just keeps going. Container gardening mistakes, nine. So it didn't kind of quite pull it right. That one actually is not the title. It's pretty much this right here. So we have 11 and we have nine. What I like to do is just kind of take note of those two right there. You know, in Brian, sorry, Brandon Gailey from Rank IQ, he teaches to always go higher than what these current ones are. So we want to go like 15, right? So we're, and then what you're going to do is we're going to clean this up, like buying guide, pictures, advice, useful links, sign up. Those are all no good, right? So we're going to go ahead and trim this up. So we've got some really good ones right there. There's the nine that we're looking for. And then what we'll come over here, we'll delete this blue snap thing. We'll de uh, delete all this and we'll delete all this stuff right here. Because look, if we even go to the page, this stuff isn't even shown on the page. So this is somewhere in the HTML, but it's actually not part of the on the page, if that makes sense. So we get rid of all this stuff. And then we're obviously we're taking a lot more time to do this outline, right? We are being very thorough in our outline. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right over here and I'm going to paste it down here. So then now we have all these topics right here that are 20 topics that we can now use, okay? So now what is the next step we're going to do? And mind you, I've just created this pro, uh, this, and I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Can I get a ranking? Can I get a first or second page ranking from this prompt we're going to use? And then we're also going to write this with Koala. We're not gonna write this whole thing in Chat ChatGPT, but I wanted to utilize the, the part of Koala where we can actually use the manual outline, but we want a good outline, right? And so the content brief, we're gonna see if the content brief can really pull us forward with, with ranking. All right, so I've got a couple of different prompts here. I created this prompt right over here. We have 11 frustrating container gardening challenges and how to solve them. So I said, write a similar title, and but make it 56 characters long and make it right here. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. So I just copy this and I got this 11 frustrating right here. I took that from the one that is ranking higher and the one that I think is just written better and that's this one right over here, okay? So that's what Google seems to like. And mind you, we still have that, that keyword. Our actual keyword is down here. We're going, to, we're going to address that in just a second. So let's go over to ChatGPT. We're going to open that up. I'm in ChatGPT4, and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go to ChatGPT, and I'm going to paste, and I'm going to enter. 15 common container gardening issues and solutions. So it's going to give us a similar one. You could tell it to give you five of them. Pick the one that you like the best. I like this one better. Challenges and fixes, uh, challenges and um, solutions, you know, just whatever keyword you're going for. We're going to go with that one. It's fine. So then now we have our title and we just paste that in over here. And then right over here, we have this really long prompt. So I'm going to copy that right there. We're going to go back to chat GPT and I'll show you what we do. I'm going to open up a new one now. You're going to see now use the following topics. I guess we could technically use that same one that we're in right over here. I'm going to go ahead and just use that. So we say now use the following topics that were found on the, some top ranking pages on Google for the keyword. And here's the keyword. What are the four main issues with the container plants, right? So that right there is the keyword that we're actually trying to rank for, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to rank if we make our, uh, right now I'm testing out, normally what I've been doing is just writing a post that the H1, the title, everything is just that. But it doesn't necessarily get me on page one. So right now I wanna see if we can do something even better, maybe capture the, the snippet for answering this question, make sure this is in the top of our content, but then also address the overall question that people are having right, right here, make it a even better, more useful, more well-rounded content, because that is what's ranking on Google right now, right? So that's kind of the thought process, process behind that. So you're going to want to put your keyword right here, and then create the ultimate post outline, blog post outline. Make sure to include all these topics as appropriate H2 and H3. The, now use the following topics, right? We've, we're going to paste those down below. And then I say, Make sure to include the topics as appropriate H2, H3 subheadings, but don't duplicate top topics, right? Because between those two, you know, there could be some that are similar. We don't want it to do that. Do not provide summaries of each uh, subheading. Uh, ChatGPT loves to do that. Hopefully they it will listen to me on that one. No fluff content, only pure valuable content that is helpful to the reader. 
and then do not indicate H2 or H3. As I was testing this before making the video, it was saying like H2 and then, you know, a colon, and then it would have the subtopic. We don't want it to do that. That's why you have to test and then you have to instruct. I put that into your prompt. And then I said, just use markdown format. The title of the article will be 15 major container gardening challenges uh, and fixes, but make sure to include and answer the main keyword mentioned above. And so I'm being very specific. I'm hoping that that prompt is not confusing to ChatGPT. It might be a little confusing. Do not copy word for word the topics. I tried this before, and this is why I added this in. I tried before, and it just took those, and it literally just made the H2 based on my topics, and that's not what I wanted it to do. I said, don't copy word for word the topics below. Only use them as a guide, but create something new and better. Here are the topics to use and create. So then last but not least, we go in here, we grab our topics right over here. That's where we got all this research and we have our topics that are actually ranking on Google using multiple articles to combine. So we are putting in the work and the research, but then we're also going to use AI. So I'm gonna do a shift return. I'm gonna do a control V and then I'm going to paste that in and we'll see what it comes up with. 15 major container gardening challenges and fixes, understanding the four main issues with container grown plants. That right there, we will probably put that in as our we will replace at least the first one the first h2 i want it to be this keyword right over here plant selection and compatibility so this is all i want right over here we don't want designing with purpose and all this stuff that it's adding in here because we're going to use koala and when we come over here to the part where we can add our custom outline uh, you can specify exactly what sections you want in the article. Each section H2 should be on a new line and you can specify subsections by indenting them. So we only want the H2s, right? So this is pretty good. It did give me a different re, uh, result a minute ago, which is a little bit closer to what I wanted. We have it right here. And then right here, we're just going to need to clean this up and say, just give the H1 and H2s. Maybe those are H3s right in here, but we're going to let Koala do the rest of that. So we just want the main topics right over here. Use all the info above to create H2 sections. And there we go. So that's kind of the research that has gone into it. And now we're going to have all this information right over here that we can now go like this, grab this, right? We can copy that. And we're going to go and paste this into the custom outline section right here. So those are the H2s. This first H2, I'm actually going to replace. Actually, you know what? I'm going to create my own paragraph that goes over the top four. And we'll just select um, the four. Because what we can do is over here, we can actually come over here and we can say, what do you think would be the top four challenges people face from this list. And we'll let ChatGPT do that and then we'll write a paragraph later. But we have a great start right over here. Let's fill out the rest of this. We're gonna go with a, a GPT-4 Turbo right here, blog post. We're gonna go and put in our main keyword, which is right here. I'm gonna put that keyword in. And I'm gonna do AI powered on this one. We're not gonna use Neuron Writer for this article. We'll just do images and we'll do four images. Illustrations are fine. Article length, we know we want about 2,000 words, so I'm gonna go with a medium article right there. Actually, we're gonna go with a long form article. This one, that one article that ranked really well, plus we have 15 headings, and we know we're gonna be at the 2,000 word mark. We're gonna keep going right over here. Right over here, let's go ahead and go with friendly. And I'm gonna go first person. I've just been using this one for the site. We're gonna go real time. I'm not gonna go with the outline editor. That is just basically, we're gonna be able to manually do some more stuff with our outline, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. We can add the FAQ, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna go with key takeaways right here. We have our custom outline, and then we're gonna create the article. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so it's been a while. It's been about 30 minutes. I've been messing around with this article. I didn't want this video to obviously be 40 minutes long, so I went ahead and just took care of business, and I'm gonna summarize everything that uh, just happened. So we wrote the article in Koala, and that is this one right over here. But by putting in the main keyword, what are the four, whatever that is, and the 
one of the four main issues with container grown plants, it went ahead and just wrote the article with that. So definitely just kind of a tip, the keyword that you put in with Koala when you're writing the article is the most important and that's what's going to drive the content forward the most. And so when, and then also something I learned from this one as well is that when we pasted in our, we put in our, our keyword right here and we, and then we used this, where is it? These advanced options. And then we pasted in the outline right over here, which was all of this right here, right? It didn't write, it didn't follow this at all. So a koala did not follow this to the T at all. So what I ended up doing was writing a new article in Koala and I didn't use this part right here. I selected pretty much everything else the same, but I used, I went over here and I used this right over here, 15 major container gardening, and I put that in as my major keyword. So then now it knows what we want to write about. And then I do believe I've selected the GPT-4 Turbo. And then what I did was I created the article and I do believe that the second time on the length, I went uh, pretty high on the, on the content length. Right over here, I think I went with the long form right over here because there was that 2300 word article. Okay, and then I knew we had like 15 H2s that we were going after. So then what I did was I actually turned on the outline editor and then I pushed create outline and then it took me in and it actually created the outline. I wish I could look at this details. I wish I could look at like what it did, but here we go. So the outline right over here, soil problems uh, right here. And you can see that it created it 100%, but it did take time. It took me 10 minutes going over here and I had to grab each one of these, right? And I had to copy and I had to go back over here and I had to create it and custom make the, the outline, right? And so what Koala needs to do is be able to, for us to be able to paste that in and, and then it actually use it. It did not use it. So pasting it in that little box didn't work. I had to manually add every single one of these, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but we uh, got that all taken care of. Now we have a 3,800 word article. It is extremely thorough. It does stay on point and reads really well. It follows the exact outline. Look, we can keep scrolling down. We got these images in here. We've got tables, everything looks good. But we can come way down in the article and look at like designing with purpose right over here. We can come down here and look, designing with purpose. It followed it to a T. When we manually uploaded it, we end with stability and safety. Come down here, let's see if it ended with that uh, stability and safety right there, okay? So here's what my uh, article ended up looking like. Here we go, so 15 major container gardening challenges and fixes. You can see that we just published it just today. I also went to Canva and created this with their the AI over there. And then I also put some text in here just to make it even that much more custom. And then we have, and then what I did was I used ChatGPT in order to write, I said, hey, what do you think would be the top four challenges, right? Because that's what we're, we're also trying to answer that. We're kind of trying to do a two for one on this one. We're trying to basically see what's ranking, what type of articles and what content's ranking. So we want to match that intent, that you know search intent. But then we also want to answer this question as quickly as possible so we can try to rank for the keyword that we're actually going for, right? And so that is kind of the, the, the method of what I'm going for right here. So it did choose the four that it thinks are the most important. And so what I did was I just added this sentence over here that says, hey, please read our full guide below for the full scoop. However, if you want to know the top four, then we have summarized that. That immediately is written by human. That's great. It's going to signal that, yeah, a human wrote that. There's definitely not an AI that's going to be able to do that. And then I put this in. What are the four main issues with container gardening plants? That matches the exact keyword we're going for. And then we summarize that right here. And then we jump right into the article right here and then key takeaways and then boom. So this is just, this ended up being turning into like a pillar type post. We'll see how well it does. And I'll keep, I'll update you guys if we can get this one ranking. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.